Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to add rectangles to the canvas element using JavaScript. You notice I've got some code here already in, in place, ready to go. Uh, if you're not sure where this came from, go back and watch the canvas setup tutorial. You'll see what we've done and how we got there. Alright, so getting started with the rectangles. One of the things that we're going to always use in uh, Canvas is we're going to uh, always start and stop a path. And in, in order to create any shape or do anything in there, we're going to have to use this context. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go CTX, that's the variable I created, the context variable, dot begin path. And what that does is that's just the beginning of, basically I, I'm telling JavaScript that I'm going to create a shape right now. And so it's just a good habit that I get into, or anytime I'm creating a unique shape or something in there, I'm always going to start it and stop it. All right, so I'm going to go CTX begin path, and then I'm going to do a fill rectangle. So we'll talk about two different types here that we're going to do. Notice that all these methods have parentheses after them. Those parentheses are parameters, or places for us to put in numbers for whatever it needs. So begin path doesn't need it, fill rectangle does. And fill rectangle needs four numbers. The four numbers it needs, it needs the top left x and y value of the rectangle, and then it needs a width and a height. So if you're not familiar with the canvas element, it starts right up here at the top left at 0, 0, and then whatever your width and height were, so we have a width of 600 and a height of 400, so as I go across, the x changes up to 600, and as I move down, the y changes up to 400. So if I want to fill a rectangle, I could start at, uh, let's say, at 100 and then down 200. So that would be over 100 and down 200. And then I want to give it a width and a height. So I'll give it a width of 300 and a height of 75. And then when I'm done, I'm going to ctx.close path. Again, don't need it on the rectangles, but it's a good habit to get into anyways. So if I hit run, you can see there is the rectangle that we've just created. Okay, so if we look back through here, over 100, down 200, so this is the xy value, the first two numbers, a width of 300, and a height of 75. If you want to change that, let's say I want to change the width from 300 to 400, that should get a little bit longer when I hit run. And there we go, we have that. The second rectangle I'm going to show you is not that it's just fill, but let's go up to ctx.stroke rectangle. So stroke is just the outline. So again, we can start it wherever we want. I'm going to start it up here close to the top. I'm going to say 50, 50, but I'm going to have it be a large rectangle. So let's go uh, most of the way across. So I'll say it's going to cross 500 and it's going to go down, uh, let's say down 300. And I hit run. You can see there is the rectangle that we just created. Okay, so simple, easy tutorial. How do you create rectangles? You need four numbers. You need an X and a Y, the, which is the top left corner of it. You need a width and a height. And then you have two, uh, two options to choose from. You either have a fill rectangle or you have a stroke rectangle. Fill is a filled in, obviously. Stroke is just an outline. Cool. If you like what we're doing, hey, make sure you... You subscribe, follow us, and uh, keep up to date on all the tutorials we're doing. Thanks, guys.